So when your competitors are sleeping, you're working. When they're out having a good time, you're working. Because when you do this, while they're dreaming about how great it'd be to be number one, you'll be living it. Your dedication is what turns dreams into reality. While you're taking time off, relaxing, chilling out, someone you're up against might be getting ahead of you. They might be putting in more reps, more work, more effort. And while you're lounging, they're grinding, sharpening their skills and getting that edge. Every minute you spend relaxing, they're using to become stronger, faster, smarter. The race doesn't pause because you decide to take a break. Your competition is relentless and so must you be. Every single day of your life, you have a chance to get further ahead of those people you're competing with. You have a chance to push yourself to do better. Outperform yourself in anyone you gotta go up against. Every day is a new opportunity, a fresh battlefield where you can prove your capabilities. It's not just about beating the others. It's about conquering your own limits and setting new records for yourself. You need to work harder. You need to study harder. You need to grind more. You don't become number one by taking days off. You don't become number one by chilling on the weekends or holidays. You become number one by doing what all the other people aren't willing to. It's about the extra mile, the additional hour, the second workout. It's about that relentless pursuit of excellence that never settles for good enough. And that takes discipline in yourself to do all the shit you don't want to do. But know you need to. You got to get your ass up when you're feeling tired and feeling weak and get yourself moving forward toward the mission at hand. It's about conquering the inner laziness, the voice that begs for just one more hour of sleep, one more episode, one more moment of ease. That's the voice of mediocrity and you got to crush it under your determination. The universe doesn't give a f that it's the holidays, that it's New Year's Eve, that it's the weekend. Time will keep moving and the world will keep moving. So that means you got to keep moving too. You don't have time to stop. You don't have time to slack off. Time is the one resource you can't get back. And every second you waste is a second loss from your journey to greatness. The clock is ticking and it's ruthless. Success isn't going to wait for you. You got to chase it down. If you're stopping and starting constantly, you won't ever catch it. You got to be consistent. You got to never let your foot off the gas. Never stop. Never quit. It's about that relentless pursuit, that unwavering focus, that unstoppable drive that separates the legends from the masses. All the average people in the world are going to think you're crazy. They're going to call you a psycho and not understand why you're working so hard. They won't get it and they don't have to get it. The only one who needs to know why you're putting in this work is you. Let them talk, let them wonder, let them doubt. You're not here to make sense to them. You're here to make miracles for yourself. So when your competitors are sleeping, you're working. When they're out having a good time, you're working. Because when you do this, while they're dreaming about how great it'd be to be number one, you'll be living it. Your dedication is what turns dreams into reality. You gotta have the strength of character to read, to digest information, to work on yourself, to work on your craft, on your abilities, on your ideas consistently without letting yourself slide into complacency, holding a higher standard than anyone else is willing to. Doing things to the very best of your ability. It's about that relentless self-improvement, the constant striving for knowledge and mastery that sets you apart. You have no idea how great you could become if you tried your hardest. You could become 10 times, 20 times better than you are right now. Your potential is unlimited when you're willing to do whatever it takes. Imagine the heights you could reach if you pushed yourself to your absolute limits. The only thing standing between you and your utmost potential is the amount of work you're willing to put in. So you gotta go all in and witness the transformation of yourself. You may not have that natural talent or a gift for creativity or intellect. You might not have any of those things, 
But what you lack in those things, you can make up with effort. You can decide that you will outwork everyone. When you need to do 45 minutes on the treadmill, you do 46. When it's supposed to be 20 phone calls, you make 21. When it's supposed to be an eight hour workday, you work nine. Whatever it is, you always do one more. And what that does is it makes you eventually think you're doing things other people aren't willing to do, so you should get things other people aren't gonna get. You've gotta understand, it's not about what you were born with. It's not about what you were given or where you started or even where you're going. It is entirely about what you plant at the center of your soul, how hard you're willing to go after something, how much focus you're willing to put in your life and how often you come back to that level of intensity for who you want to be. But you got to understand, kinda is lethal. There's so many kinda people. Most people kinda want a career change. They kinda want to get straight A's. They kinda want to get in shape. But if you only kinda want something, then you're only gonna kinda get the results you want. You can't just kinda want that thing. You gotta want it with every part of your being. Will you struggle? Yeah, you're gonna struggle. There's no way around it. You're gonna fall so many times, but who's counting? If you wanna make it to the top of your field, top of your class, top of your industry, then there's gonna be sharp ridges that must be stepped over. There's gonna be times you get stressed and things you get depressed over. But let me tell you something, struggle and criticisms are prerequisites for greatness. That is the law of this universe and no one escapes it because pain is life. But you can choose what type, either the pain on the road to success or the pain of being haunted with regret. If you want to win anything in life, there's one battle you got to win first. The battle inside your mind. Real fucking struggle ain't external shit that's all around you. It ain't the test you got to pass, the race you got to win, the weight you got to lift. The business you gotta start or the bills you gotta pay. The real battle is in your mind. Your mind is a fucking battleground and the real enemy is after one thing, your mind. It's out to worry you, stress you out, break you down. It's out to make you quit. It's out to make you think you can't get up. Make you give up on your dreams. The fight you gotta win is in your mind. Get to work. Every day start training your mind to believe that you can do anything you wanna do and be anyone you wanna be. Focus, stay motivated, but most importantly, stay strong. If the enemy within is in check, then the enemy outside can do you no harm. If you want to live your best life, you got to do me a huge favor. You got to watch them choices you make. People make bad choices. They wake up and they make another bad choice. Then they make another bad choice. Now they got a habit of bad choices, right? And they like, how do I get here? Choices. You trying to get to certain places, but you ain't making the choices that's going to get you there. You all in your feelings. No alarm clock needed. My passion wakes me up. My drive wakes me up. My determination wakes me up. My ability to be, do, and have whatever I want, it wakes me up. What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? You got to begin with the end in mind. So whatever your dream or your goal is, you got to wake up every day to it. You got to go to bed with it. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? You got to read stuff. The music you listen to, everything you do, got to pour into that dream. I didn't get to where I am. I didn't get here being lazy. I didn't get here bench watching TV. I didn't get here taking days off. I personally know what it takes. One day I made a decision that enough is enough. I'm tired of being average. I'm tired. I'm tired of being good. I'm tired. I made a decision. Enough is enough. It's showtime. If you're a student in school, try harder, study harder, and focus more. You got this. That athlete that's out there, and you're not training how you're supposed to, go 10, 15 minutes harder. Bob, 10 more reps. You have to work when no one's watching. You have to train like there is no tomorrow. Day after day after day. You can improve just a little bit every day. That's the effort you need to be great. That's the sacrifice that you have to put in in order for you to get to the next level that you need to be in. In order for you to go from one level to the next level, in order for any woman to transition, for any man to transition, the thing that they want must be greater than the thing they currently have. You only transition from one level to the next when you're tired of the level you are. You don't belong at the bottom, and it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get your butt up and get to where you're supposed to be. Get where you belong. Do what you're supposed to do. Live like you're supposed to live.
You gotta kill. Every single day of my life, I feel like giving 120. Every single day, I don't have days where I don't feel like it. Why? Because I'm counting on me. My wife's counting on me. My son's counting on me. I don't have days to waste. And your grind has to match your dream. You can't play as much as you used to play. You can't go where you used to go. You can't do what you used to do. And now you gotta pick your grind up. And I need you to wake up every single day and I need you to use your 24 hours like you've never used it before.